Well, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. You're back. Yes, for more War Game European Escalation multiplayer footage, I assume. Well, gentlemen, ladies do, welcome. And this is the Rat Pack 3v3. Raptor, Sammy, and Shadow versus M4, TKO, Obnoxyclean, and Sting. In fact, Obnoxyclean is actually in several videos, whether they be future or past. He is, um... He's an enemy that we continue to uh, encounter, and he's one who really uses tactics that we blah upon, but we beat his ass every time. Right, train baby? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get down there and see what's going on. Over here at Alpha, it's, by the way, Rap Pack is uh, NATO, Raptor, Sam, and Shadow, and Pact, of course, is the uh, other three. Uh, M4, KT, TKO, Obnoxy, and Sting on the packed side. Um, of course, they'll have an assortment of vehicles, but over here we have Shadow with some Cobras and Scouts, uh, as well as some, oh, it looks like we're going uh, heavy tanks and infantry as well. Armored Command, Chaparral, and a Super Chinook in the back. Yours truly defending a command with Flak Panzers, and it looks like Sammy over here uh, has... Uh, Oh, here we are, the uh, mobile force of um, a couple of Pattons, Abrams, Hemets, and Scouts, as well as some really heavy uh, infantry forces. And look at how tight those units are set up. Very good, that's exactly what you want to do on those roads. Yours truly with double Apaches and uh, Gazelles. Well, uh, not too often I play a purely support role, but that's why this is called Blades of Thunder, baby. Mm, Blades of Thunder! So over on the enemy side, we have uh, M. We're just going to call him M4 with the T80s, Tunguskas, M2 and BMP3s, and the UAZ. We have Sting with a rush of Mi8 TVs, Obnoxy being obnoxious with the Havoc and the Mi24P, and a very bi big uh, assortment of Scots. What? That's not the that's not the higher level players I know. What? And uh, Sting with the UAZ in the back, multiple fobs. Uh, over on the right side and then of course on the left. So as you can see, uh, M4 has said he'll be taking the left side, Sting says he's going in the center, and Obnoxy's going to take the right at Hotel and possibly plow into Charlie. So, friends and fans, here we go. Alright, enemy forces are leaving. Let's see exactly where everything goes. My ATVs are going to be heading towards the center. TADUs from uh, M4 are going to be heading towards his markers. And it looks like Obnoxy will probably be heading towards the right where he had marked. Now, of course, they could change this at any time. Nothing's locked in. Well, let's take a look. Sammy moving up, uh, Shadow rather, with the um, Recon and Cobra combo. Yes, that's right, uh, available in 6-inch, and also you can get that toasted. And uh, speaking of toasted, these Apaches are definitely going to be toasting something as well as uh, yours truly brings in the Apache pain. Blades of Thunder, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Blades of Thunder. Let's hide that HUD. Oh, boy. Ooh, mm -mm. All right, so over there, uh, our enemy force is probably gathering at the center, but we're going far right. A uh, group of uh, four Apaches plus our recon, which is around here somewhere. There he is, our friendly gazelle. And hold on a second, looks like there's firing going on already. MI-9 in the rear. Oh, wait a minute here. MI-24P going to be uh, trying to engage our Apaches. Apaches with the auto cannon. Hold on, let's just peek in what's going on here. Is EPZU already able to take out a couple of Cobras? Unfortunate for Sammy. Uh, NATO at 60, packed at 80. MI-24P, though, worth a lot of points being hit by four auto cannons as it's down out of the game. MI-28 Havoc getting the F out of there. Uh, NATO at 145 and packed at 80. Uh, a lot of Scots coming in now. Uh, looks like the Scott 2, which is upgraded with the Turbo Super Mega Reactor uh, Overload Drive in the back. If you can't see it, I don't know, maybe my graphics are set to a little lower, but it should have like a warp thing on it just firing forward because those things are fast as hell. Uh, let's see what's going on in the center. Ooh, looks like they're locking it down big time. Sting coming out here uh, to fight the Fusiliers. Not a good move, though, because, uh, oh, man, there's almost... Jeez, there's almost 60 dudes out there, and boy, those, uh, those, uh, oh, wait a minute now, they're getting hit by the MI-8 TV, but they're definitely going to be able to do a lot of damage against those higher level units. In fact, uh, NATO already at 300 packs, 100 and 105. Apache's pulling off a little bit here, uh, definitely saw this Tunguska over on the left. It looks like, uh, M4 is moving up with BMPs and Tunguskas, and a Tunguska going into the back, um, to support the T-80s, obviously. Uh, looks like the t uh, PT-76s are also providing a good amount of uh, recon there. But artillery from Shadow 
doing a little bit of damage here, taking out all that infantry that was in there. Beautiful, nice clearing out of the uh, of the enemy uh, stop point, and a very good uh, job to get advantage on points. Shadow also has AT gems sitting here, as well as Rise Patents. TADU is getting ready to fire at possibly ah the Fusiliers. Good range on that. Uh, TAD is being hit by artillery already. More than likely, those are going to back up. Apache is now doing a good job at uh, hitting that motor strelicky. Uh, just kind of trying to mop up here. ATGM flying away, and ooh, almost a direct hit on that PT-76. Hitting that is going to be very good. It's going to limit the enemy's line of sight. Uh, down here, there's a little bit of an attempt to possibly either... Um, ambush or a flank attack. We'll see exactly what happens. Apache's firing still. Uh, two sets of the Apaches being damaged, one being heavily damaged there. Uh, oh, and they're getting hit again, um, both taking good damage there. Tunguska getting ready to fire again, but no uh, no kills there, so bad day for him. Obnoxyclean uh, getting ready for his rolling uh, rate package. Unfortunately, too little, too late. Not enough forces here. Uh, T-62s aren't going to help you. Uh, BMPs aren't going to help you. Uh, the, the the defensives of Sammy are just too strong now. Apache's moving into uh, repair at the uh, already uh, awaiting Hemet. Over in the uh, center now, we've got Mutz moving up. Shadow is very limited here, but the enemy is uh, afraid to advance. More uh, units being called out here. Uh, MI2 just sitting there. Would have been a good time to uh, take the flank, but the enemy... Uh, has not done so. It will also be a good time to attack their command point, but uh, as the Rat Pack usually always assumes, the enemy must be smart enough to defend their spawn point. Mephesto firing a missile out at one of the BMPs. Wow, a near hit there. Would have been nice if he would have got that. Let's watch as this... Oh, wait a minute now. Havoc sitting over here not doing anything. Let's see if uh, one of these missiles comes in here. Mephesto not able to see him anymore. A uh, good position to take up here would be good, good to hit the artillery somewhere in that forest. Speaking of artillery... Let's see if it fires on that position. Looks like it's getting ready to fire again on the center. Clearing that out, making sure the enemy doesn't get that. Good targets to hit here with artillery would be guessing where the enemy command is. I would definitely guess it to be in that woods. And if I was uh, able to see all that infantry there, I would hit that as well. Obnoxy with his uh, 2K22M Tunguska. Uh, very good accuracy on that uh, weapon there. Um, a lot of BMP1s now moving into the battlefield from Sting. Um... East German model with the uh, ATGM mounted on the uh, the nose of the gun there. Uh, looks like three of these are moving in, four of them rather, all separate uh, units moving in with just regular infantry. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it'll be filled with, but those TADUs are also sitting there. Enemy is ready to bring the pain, but doesn't know how to release the strike. It looks like we've also got a buck coming in from the back, which is more of a, I'd consider that more of a long-range defensive weapon. Tunguska is something that you want to attack with. Uh, multiple fobs here, just still nothing going on in Juliet, no artillery there. A lot of infantry here. Um, ATGM Dragons firing at the TADUs. Ooh, that wasn't very smart to bring those out like that. TADUs actually parked out in the open, and one TADU destroyed. Shadow getting that kill with his Dragons, baby. Nicely done. Uh, let's see if that other TADU gets hit. Nope, looks like one of the BMPs is also going to be hit. Ooh, very close to it. Fusilier's moving into the center from Shadow as well. Shadow engaging Scott. Uh, looks, like, uh, looks like they're going to cut them off. Hopefully they can destroy those vehicles so they can't get any... Uh, can't get any view on what's behind that city, but uh, Shadow's going to lock it down. Motor shoots in uh, engaging. Oh, and their vehicle destroyed. Only nine of those left. Shadow in a hard position at that uh, at that uh, village. A lot of units are coming here from the left now. BMPs and T-80s firing along with the uh, the supply vehicles. Rather, uh, Tungus calls in support. That should have been a hit. Damn. Sammy sitting ready over here. Uh, Apaches must have been doing work again somewhere in the rear, uh, trying to keep those repaired and on the move. Those are big targets for the enemy, but that's exactly what's going to keep them at bay. Uh, Sammy doing a very good job of just kind of holding here and providing support where he's needed. Also uh, getting points, saving up for points um, if there's to be an attack or counterattack. T-80U, the single one now, is worried. Uh, he better be because he's kind of out here all alone. What's this uh, weird snow pattern? That's kind of strange. A spring? Maybe that's the spring model. Ooh la la. All right, let's see. Uh, looks like 
Ah, Sammy doing a uh, attack up to the top with the Lucius and the Abrams. Nicely done. Abraham Lincoln, nicely done. Shaturm being brought out immediately from Sting to try to counter those. Artillery falling on the Tunguska, the infantry, and, oh, almost a direct hit on the T-80, now making it panic. T-80, you panic now. MI-2 doing a little bit of scouting in the rear. Shadow using his empty infantry carriers to set up a makeshift defense uh, program down here. It's going to be good because he'll be he basically is spending no points on at least a minor ambush, but more of a cheap scouting tactic. Very good. Uh, SPWs from Obnoxy Clean moving in, um, probably going to take up position somewhere in the swamp or forested area. Uh, Sammy still not being hit or attacked at Charlie, and this would be the time to do it. Apaches are getting their repairs and their rearmament. Artillery falling on the BMPs there. Brilliant job with the uh, with the self-propelled artillery. When the enemy locks down like this and really doesn't know how to continue the attack, this is when you punish them for attacking with artillery. Zalo's moving into the center. Oh, Shadow's going to have no problem. Ooh, actually smart enough to turn away. Very good. Oh. Wait a minute, Abrams hitting one of the Zalos. Let's see if they can get f firing again. Computer good enough to check their Facebook and... Ooh, hitting the Zalo again, almost completely destroying it. Wow, that uh, must have went right through. Uh, Gazelle doing a little bit of scouting here, seeing the enemy build up. Looks like a t the T-80 hauled its ass uh, across the bridge and is now an Echo Tunguska Motor Strilogy in support of that unit as well. A big boy there, which could easily be defeated by those choppers so long as that Tunguska stays away. Artillery now firing at possibly... Oh yes, the BRDM2U. Very good, very good. That's what you want to be hitting with that artillery. It's worried now, so obviously Shadow's hitting close. Looks like those SPWs have moved into where they need to be. They're encountering some mud now, and it looks like the Ural trucks are now engaging that uh, Soul BMP, which I have no idea uh, why they're doing such repair on that. Uh, ooh, BR. Oh, wow, it's uh, almost destroyed here. Two, only two things of armor left on that BR DM2U. And what's funny is even though he's routing and he stopped, he will still uh, be calm enough to capture golf if he was able to keep it there. Shaturm and, and uh, everything else sitting in this small area, very funny to me because uh, he won't um, he won't destroy those quite yet. FJB40 moving in, uh, attack marker out on those units being there. Tunguska also rolling up to see if it can hit the Gazelle or the Apaches that were resupplying there. Uh, artillery would be really nice if it could kill that BRDM2U and or the Shaturm there. Uh, not able to just yet. MI2 low fuel. Going to, uh, on a scouting mission here. Let's see what he's doing. Ooh. Weird looking thing, isn't it? Hmm. Well, anyway, MI2 backing up a little bit. He was on a little bit of a scouting mission. Apache's coming in to plug that hole. TADU mm, trying to get ready to cross that bridge, but after that uh, helicopter shows up, he's backing that ass up. And now he's pulling forward again. He must uh, be trying to get me to come out with my Apaches for his Tunguska. Uh, looks like uh, vehicles are coming back and forth. Super Chinook is also resupplying the artillery there. And Golf still not under the enemy control there. Uh, ooh, we're getting a little bit of um, a Tunguska here. T-64 BMs and FJB creating somewhat of a little front here. Rise Patton's also being called out from Sammy. Uh, possibly maybe be able to take on that Tunguska. Let's go back down to the south now. Let's see if there's going to be a Soviet crossing, uh, crossing here, but hopefully we're crushing that. Uh, Tunguska here rolling across to, uh, onto the bridge. Oh, wait a minute. Missile away. He's firing at the Gazelle. Uh, wait a minute. Is he? Yes, he is firing at the Gazelle. Gazelle's pulling out of there along with the Apaches. Tunguska's going to roll up again and see if he can hit him again. Good range on that uh, on those missiles. Only three missiles remaining. Um, MI2 is out of fuel now, so that's the end of that uh, recon there. And another Tunguska moving up. Uh, gazelles are now going to pull back along with the Apaches, more than likely to the uh, FOBs around here, just to get out of the range. Let's go ahead and take a look at the big map then. Uh, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, ABC, are all under the Rat Pack's control. Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, and Hotel are under the enemy's control, uh, as well as Juliet. Now, they have the uh, point advantage here, and they even have uh, all these different positions to call in units on, but they're still hesitating. We have them at the choke points, and we definitely have them in the center because they're not clearing us out as they should be. And in fact, Shadow there is holding the absolute center. Points, 929 to 314. 
Let's get back down there and see what's going on. Let's start with the special forces over here. FJB are waiting um, to see if uh, they can spot any of his units, Sammy's units over here in Tunguska, also ready to stop any attacks. T-64BMs are obviously spotted here. And it uh, looks like a good defense around Hotel. This is, again, but prime uh, target for artillery uh, along with... Ooh, wait a minute now. Hold on a second. Whoa, wait a minute. Secret Agent Sammy coming in for the BRDM to you. Uh, BMP is trying to move in to stop that, but uh, Secret Agent Sammy is unloading on that thing. It did repair a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen. Downed helicopter over here that the BMP just rolled right through. Uh, Lucius doing some work. Doing some work. Got the command. The command is down. Oh, too bad the BMP got there a little bit too late. BMP destroyed by the Lucius, and Lucius destroyed by the motor shoots, and, and the Fusiliers obviously are going to take care of that. Big attack now, counterattack coming from the south from uh, uh, M4, and it looks like it's a solo effort um, bringing up the T-80, the Tunguska, the BMP. Big unit here, big boy. This is the, your modern-day sedan. Comes with the FM satellite, or rather, uh, comes with the satellite radio, uh, FM, AM, uh, heated seats. It's a very, very, very class Soviet fighting vehicle. Very interesting vehicle, too, by the way. Very modern. Um, it uh, does have an auto cannon and a, a main cannon on it as well, but not in range to engage any of those units. Shadow has. Let's go over and see if Sammy's good. Looks like he's good. Let's see the center. Center's good. Secret Agent Sammy, of course, cleared out golf and uh, is going to be attacked again by BMPs. Fusiliers. Um, now getting ready to fire that BMP. Let's see if there's a hit. Mm, they'll probably take them out. Fusiliers only have uh, bolt. A oh no, they actually have the uh, L, the uh, SL. Oh wait a minute, 7.62 automatic shoots in. Mm, we'll see. Anyway, let's keep an eye on that on the mini map. But for down here, we've got a T-80U in the open, BMP and MI-2 going south. Looks like they're now across the bridge. So. It's time to break off. M4 is doing a good job of keeping a nice cornucopia here of units. You've got two AA units, you've got uh, multiple scouts and, a, and an infantry unit. One of the Ural trucks being destroyed, that's not good, especially since that Tunguska's low on uh, ammunition. Wow, uh, is those artillery strikes still coming in uh, from those M10A2s. Uh, uh, Tunguska under, uh, under fire there, Ural trucks being under fire. T-80U pulling up to destroy the Saracen. It would be smart for Shadow to get out of there. Maybe pull the Dragon over to this defensive marker here. Uh, Apaches are sitting, of course, because those Tunguskas are there. There's not much for them to do. Sting now surrenders. Very interesting. Even though his attack was doing moderately well, Sting left the game. He must have had a show to do tonight. So good for him. Nicely done. All right. Well, anyway, with him being out of the game, it's going to now just be us two. It is now 1,295 to 432. The enemy's uh, failures mostly uh, since they were not able to defend this center successfully. You must clear the enemy out of an island area. You can't just kind of do half and half and call it a day. Uh, this isn't your coffee. This is battle. Um, Brian Boitano here. It's been a long time since we've seen Brian on the field back for his Olympic debut. Uh, bringing a lot of pain here. He's bringing the 30-30. That's right. He's got 30 missiles loaded. I don't know if he's going to fire them, but... Uh, Brian, uh, Brian, not not been on here for a while. Very nice to see this unit up close. Um, it's basically like a modern T-60 from uh, from uh, Men of War with a rocket pack on the back of it. So let's see if that gets ready to fire. Let's hop over here though. Tunguska getting ready to fire again at uh, the ooh, Gazelle Apache combo over here. One of the Gazelles, or rather, one of the Apaches is down now. Uh, that is not down. That is just what we call in America an unplanned landing. Uh, nomenclature and twisting the words, gentlemen. All right, BRM-1 is scouting over here. Uh, Going to be moving in on the back of that Jupiter truck. Uh, missiles firing again. Uh, apparently, the gazelle was completely saved by a Saracen. I cannot tell you how many times that a vehicle with a missile flying over it has taken, even though it's hundreds of feet above it, somehow it gets taken out by an AA. Uh, very interesting. Fusiliers left behind at the village, though. Not a big deal. BR. BRM-1 uh, firing at the... Uh, oh, BRM not even there anymore. I don't even know what I was talking about. Tunguska! Let's see if he's going to get taken out by the Fusiliers. More like Fug, his daddy. Get in there, Fusiliers. Take that bitch out. Fusiliers getting ready to fire. Ooh, I don't know if that was a hit, but it's worried now. Worried, and they're backing dad ass up. Artillery coming down on the BMP-3. 
Uh, no movement up towards Sammy's side, but there is a good uh, amount of defense going on here. Uh, making sure no helicopters get through. Wait a minute now. Havoc uh, testing its patience over here um, with uh, the units that were called out, but he can't get in there. Fusiliers taking out that Tunguska there. Nicely done. Uh, Shadow and Motor Streliki from M4, uh, which now I probably think of it as probably under the command of uh, probably, I'd say, Obnoxyclean at this point. I, I don't know exactly how it goes, but, or wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. M4 is still here, but Sting is gone. Um, yes, so uh, this attack from M4 is going rather well. Sting uh, in the center not, not having a good day, so his non-existent units uh, went to everyone else. So correction if I screwed that up. But anyway, uh, it doesn't matter because M4 is pulling out MI2. He's uh, emitting defeat here. Artillery now falling on that motor street. Like he, ooh, let's see if Brian's getting ready to fire, by the way. I'm very curious to see if Brian over here is going to fire. Brian, Brian, where are you, Boitano? Mm -mm -mm. Ah, there he is. Brian getting ready to fire. Oh, is this his first time? Oh, boy. Brian, oh, Brian, oh, Brian. All right, let's see if uh, Brian here is going to fire. Ooh, it's a beautiful sunset, by the way. Taking a while to fire with this unit. Uh, let's go ahead and take take a look at these stats and then wait for the new year to come while we wait for Brian to fire. Jesus. I don't even know if he's firing anymore. Anyway, it has a range of three, uh, three eight eight, or no, thirty five hundred meters. Sorry, uh, one accuracy, zero AP power, five HE power, and a rate of fire of seventeen a minute. Mm, well, it's an expensive unit for no reason, but he's taking his sweet ass time trying to fire. Anyway, in the south, uh, motor Streliki being taken care of an MI two. The attack in the south is stopped. A Tunguska sneaked in, snuck in. It, or rather was sneaking in or has snucked somewhere into Delta. India now uh, uh, obnoxyclean, maybe getting ready for a counterattack, but let's get back to Brian. Brian, uh, we now go to our resident uh, Raptor reporter in the field, Brian Boitano. Brian, uh, are you going to fire your missiles anytime today, or are we going to have to wait? Oh, thank you, Brian. All right. We have here Fusiliers, Mephesto, and Aleutius. Let's see what gets hit by Brian. Come on, Brian. You at least got to get one kill if you're going to take that long. Oh, there we go. All right. Infantry completely killed. A Fuchs completely destroyed. A Lucius under heavy fire. A Lucius is gone. Very accurate weapon. Able to clear out that forest. I don't remember how much that vehicle costs. Let's take a peek. 187 on the mother... All right. So, Mephesto is the only thing left there. Unfortunately, that was kind of a real expensive attack to kill Fusiliers and Mephesto. Probably, let's say he got 60 points from that, maybe. Uh, so he spent 187 on them moves for just 60 in return. Um, that's something you want to use more on, like, a big spread of infantry. In fact, he should have used it over here and then pushed in. Um, I don't know why Obnoxyclean just used it there. I think he's trying to maybe clear two pass, but he should have went here. Uh, looks like there maybe was a minor attack. To, wait a minute now. T-64 is getting ready to fire. A tow from uh, Shadow getting ready to fire at the T-64s, and that's it. Oh, that's the end. Um, that was the end of the time limit. Jeez. So anyway, it was 1623 to 1021. There was some good points there at the end as a major victory, but um, anyway, there's your scores, and of course Sting leaving early didn't give them a good advantage. So anyway, friends and fans, Ah, that was lovely, wasn't it? So anyway, this is Raptor for Sammy and Shadow telling you, well, reminding you to keep that password and that pimp hand strong. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs>